Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I just got my hands on the brand new Glowberg X and I'm gonna compare it to a brand new 2023 Glowberg. So Glowberg X versus Glowberg, let's glow. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm gonna go head to head with these two. When you compare them side by side, I mean, they look almost identical. This one might be a tad bit taller and chunkier, but not by much, but just eyeballing it, does look like it's a tiny bit taller. The rims are almost identical too. The feel of it too looks almost identical. Uh, I really like the design on this one. I picked this up at USDGC, the happiness disc and then we also got the 2023 Glowberg. They both feel very similar. Let's see how they fly. All right, so this Glowberg right here is brand new. It is a 2023 one. I haven't thrown it yet. I actually just took the sticker off right before I got out here. So let's go head to head. Here we go. Oh, flies great like a Berg. Nice little subtle finish at the end. I just love Bergs. They just go straight. That's what they do. And then glow ones, for me at least, are a little bit more stable than other Bergs. So I like how it had a nice little strong finish at the end. Now it's time for the Glowberg X. This is supposed to be a little bit more stable. Let's see. All right, yeah, definitely. Okay, you can see there, definitely more of a hookup there. I might have put that slightly more on a hyzer than the other Berg, but I definitely felt it fighting more to the left than my normal glow bergs. Let's throw it some more. All right, round two, glow berg. Nice and flat. Yeah, and then it's got a little finish at the end. That's what I love the glow berg for. All right, let's try to get this glow berg X nice and flat also. Yep. And it hooks up a little sooner. All right, similar results, but a tiny bit different flight. The Glowberg X hooks up a little bit more, but we're not talking like a big beefy hook. It's just a nice subtle hookup, which is a little sooner than the Glowberg. So I have tested this Glowberg X out for a couple days. So the Glowberg X is just a touch more stable than the Glowberg. I don't think it's enough that I'm gonna bag both of them. Like they're similar enough that you could go with one or the other. It's just, they're gonna be a touch different. So I think what I've seen so far is I'm probably gonna get rid of my Glowberg and just put the Glowberg X in. And it's just gonna be a little bit beefier version of the Glowberg, which is actually great because that's kind of what I'm looking for in my bag anyway. All right, now we're gonna put these on some Anheusers to see how they behave. Oh yeah, nice turn and it's just gonna sit down. Yeah, that's what I love Bergs for. No matter what you do, they just love to land flat. Yeah, look at that. See how it pans out and lands flat? Love it. Glowberg X is just a touch more stable, so I felt like I could lean on it a little bit more than the Glowberg. I'm digging that Glowberg X. All right, we're gonna do one more quick test because this is just a little quick video I wanted to get out. One of the things I love Bergs for is putting them on an Anheuser sidearm shot and just watching them glide and land nice and flat. This is one of the reasons why I really bag a Berg because that shot wasn't really a shot I was kind of comfortable with. Just a nice little touchy forehand shot that lands nice and flat on an Anheuser. Bergs do a great job of that. All right, let's try the Glowberg. Oh, I love that shot and then watch it just land nice and flat. Ugh. So I feel like instead of doing like a backhand upshot, if I need to reach out and do a sidearm upshot that does the same shot, the Berg is there for you. All right, Glowberg X here. Yeah, see there's a little bit more stability, but it still lands flat. So I could definitely feel and see a little bit more stability there on that line. So I feel like I could even lean on it a little bit more, give it even more of an angle than the Glowberg. All right, guys, when it comes down to it, Glowberg X versus Glowberg, this is definitely a little bit more stable. I'm not gonna say it's crazy overstable compared to a Glowberg, just a touch more stable than this Glowberg. 
What I found with my Glowbergs is I love them when I first have them, and then when they beat in a little bit, they just go dead straight. They get rid of that little turn at the end. I'm hoping the Glowberg X will retain a little bit more of that stability at the end, even once it breaks in. But hey, who knows? Only time will tell. I'll have to check back in with you later, let you know how it is. But I'm gonna get rid of this Glowberg, put this Glowberg X in the bag, and let's see how it beats in. All right, well, thanks for tuning in. If you guys are looking for some discs like this, go to Disc Golf Deals USA. Use my code DiscRider, save yourself 10%. Until next time, peace out.